Welcome to a discussion of critical issues in healthcare. I'm Darren Dahl. Today we're going to talk about one of the most difficult challenges facing healthcare professionals, how to control the spread of highly contagious disease. We're going to focus on something called C. auris, a specific type of infection. Our guest is Sarah Duval, a director in Haney's Quality Division. Welcome, Sarah. Thank you for having me. Sarah, let's start at the beginning. What is C. auris? So many of us are familiar with the, the three basic types of infections, right? We have bacterial infections, viral infections, and we also have fungal infections. With Candida auris, it's one type of fungal infection. So Candida, it's been around for many years. It's what contributes to diaper rash and other types of yeast infections because that's essentially what it is. Candida auris is very serious for people who have compromised immune systems. It is. It's a very serious situation for people who are very seriously ill already. So you and I, for instance, may uh, come in contact with Cioris, but we wouldn't become seriously ill. On the other hand, somebody who's already in the intensive care unit may die from the illness. And that's what differentiates C. auris from the other types of Canada. This particular strain is resistant to many of the treatments widely available. But unfortunately, because it's emerging, we're still learning. Scientists are still exploring exactly what the epidemiology around this bug is. Are you optimistic that we um, are able to deal with this problem? Are you optimistic that the healthcare system can really tackle the problem? In New York State, we are very well versed in how to respond to emerging infections. We have robust and dynamic relationships between the healthcare community and public health, and we know how this works. Unfortunately, every time there's a new infection, there's a lot that we don't know yet, but we know how to navigate that process because we've done it so many times before. We've dealt with Ebola, we've dealt with Zika most recently, and now we have Canada auris. What's Haney's doing specifically? How do you spend your day in relation to working on Candida auris? As we have new emerging infections, our role at Haney's is to help convene and also help communicate some of the obstacles and the barriers that hospitals and the healthcare community at large are struggling with to take care of these very sick patients and to prevent the spread of disease. Unfortunately, the public health uh, sector cannot always know everything that is going on at the healthcare uh, community is doing. And the healthcare community doesn't always have the opportunity to understand everything that public health is facing. And so we serve as a liaison or a bridge between the two groups. And with that, we're able to develop robust strategic solutions to help respond most effectively to um, infections. What do you think the most important thing is for people to know about Candida auris and about controlling the spread of infectious disease? I think the most important thing related to Candida auris is for everybody to know that the healthcare community is working rigorously to find out exactly what's happening. And we're equipped with people who have extensive experience in this area. We have people that I've worked with for more than 10 years that are very passionate about keeping their patients safe. They spend their nights and weekends working on this issue and they're doing everything that they can to make sure that uh, we're developing strategies and refining this so that we can continue responding to not only C. Auris, but also other emerging infections. Where can people go to learn more about Candida auris? So healthcare professionals have access to information directly on the Haney's website. We curated information that can sometimes be overwhelming for our members. And others in the, in the public, are well, they're always encouraged to contact their doctor. If they're not available and they'd like to read more information, the New York State Health Department has a wonderful website full of extensive resources. It's nyhealth.gov. You can also go to the CDC website, cdc.gov. Um, and that's generally where they can get information.